Hello and welcome to another video on machine learning. We were discussing regularization as it pertains to linear regression. So until the last point, we had covered bridge regression, where our regularization technique is known as the L2 norm. where essentially we are trying to provide a modified loss function, the loss function for our uh, typical linear regression is given by the residual sum of squares, right? What we would do as the loss function for ridge regression is we add a term corresponding to the shrinkage penalty lambda it will be lambda multiplied by the summation of the squared coefficients, right? So this is the term that we now try to minimize. And in doing so, we end up penalizing certain coefficients or rather certain independent features which are not as relevant, not as important to in, in terms of their contribution to the target variable. So what we do is we optimize it by reducing those coefficients. So this is the, this will be our L2 norm. And uh, the other type of prominent form of uh, regularization would be least absolute shrinkage and selection factor. We'll take a look at what that means. Essentially, what we're doing now is we once again consider the shrinkage penalty lambda, but in this case, you can abbreviate this and call this the lasso regression. Now our loss function, let's get this rectified. The loss function for the lasso which is known as the L1 norm is given by the residual sum of squares plus lambda times summation absolute values of the coefficients, right? So we're considering the absolute values here, which also helps us reduce the impact of certain features. Now the difference you could see is quite evident. We can call this one the L1 norm. So what we are ending, ending up doing is in the uh, L2 norm, we're talking about minimizing the square terms. Right, so if we were to consider only just two parameters to have an example, this would represent more of an equation of a circle. Okay, if you're trying to minimize beta one square plus beta two, beta two square, you are talking about an equation, right? With some, some radius given here, all right? If you're trying to minimize beta one square plus beta two, beta two square, or basically this term over here, this would be done in the form of, or it would be represented as a circle. On the other hand, if we were to look at L1 norm, where we are minimizing beta one plus beta two, this you could say at the time beta one is 
has a certain value, or rather when beta one is zero, beta two is at its peak. Okay, you could say, this is one way of looking at it. So what would effectively happen is, because of this diamond shape that we are providing, some of these coefficients would go down completely to zero. This is something that will happen only in our L1 norm method where either beta one or beta two would completely go to zero at this point, these points, these corners, you can see one of the coefficients would have values of zero. We take this as our, our two dimensional axis, right? That's not something that's really happening in terms of uh, in, in how the L2 norm is reducing its coefficients. So effectively, when you're doing beta one plus beta two absolute values getting summed up, you're also providing a means of feature selection, right? Which is why we have that as part of our name for lasso, that you are also doing some amount of feature selection Let's say some degree of feature selection based on taking out those features that are not as important or probably redundant, right? If you have some redundant features, you can, you can do that in L1 regularization, right? There is another form of uh, L1 regularization, which is called least angle regression where you combine the method of the L1 norm along with step forward regression, right? Which is basically we'll be selecting feature by feature and taking a look at their impact on the target variable. So L1 norm and L2 norm are corresponding to our lasso regression and ridge regression as uh, a modified and a more optimized form of, or rather two optimized forms that we have for linear regression. Essentially, these are our methods of regularization. 